What's up everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're opening Korean Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon Booster Box trying to hit Blue Eyes. Um, I think there's other things in this set. Trihorn Dragons in this as a secret rare. We are going to be here for a little bit. 40 packs a box. 5 cards a pack. So this is a hefty amount of... I'm going to try to split that in half as best I can. Trying to also have everything like focus. Right. So, hold on a second. Let me do that. Let me bring that like that. And about as even as even can be. Trying to obviously hit blue eyes, white dragon. I've never opened up a box of this. I have opened up a single pack of this so i'm not gonna know everything oh we have uh the skull okay so we do have a rare i don't think rares are guaranteed i'm not gonna really care what stack i grab off or kind of just split it to not have cards going to the roof but this is a cheap box to get so if you ever do want one this is only 20 about 22 dollars it's a very affordable way to hunt for older cards that you cannot get anymore. That's why I like opening up Korean products of Yu-Gi-Oh! is certain sets. They're not extremely expensive. They're cheap to get. And you realistically can pull some value out of them. I mean, probably not extreme value out of this because I don't know how many ultras are guaranteed. I don't know how many super rares. I know in the newer stuff, it's two... What is it? One secret rare and one ultimate rare. There's no ultimate rares in this. And I don't even know if a secret rare is even guaranteed. Wow, we have not seen a single ultra rare or a card I can remember the name of. Sadly. You'd think I would have studied this set a little bit more. But, of course, we have a green field. That just looks like a feel. Flame thingy. And we have another rare. I do like the older school like look to them. Which is really cool. Hold on a second. I thought these cards smelled a little funny. Because they, sometimes they can smell like the ink that they were printed on. And that does give me a headache. That looks like a fireball. How many packs are we in? Probably not very many. And we've hit really nothing but three rares. Some of the rares can actually be worth something in these older sets. Not a lot of them are, but I have seen... Ooh, we do have a Mantis. That's cool. Okay, so now we're just ripping back, shredding them. Ooh, we do have the suit of armor card. That's kind of cool. A fish. Mount Fuji, it looks like. I don't know if any of these artworks are censored, but really cool to hit some of these older, like, cards. Uh, if you want to know why these sets are so cheap, when uh, Don Juan Media took over, they actually reprinted the older sets to make them more affordable for people. Because obviously, you want cards to be accessible for, like, older formats. And stuff anyway without them being extremely expensive. Ooh, a pot of greed. The first card I actually know. Like I'm saying, you don't want things to be extremely expensive. Obviously, there are certain sets that are expensive no matter what. That's just due to the market or maybe the fact that for some reason they didn't get a reprint. But I'd be surprised if they didn't. But that's just me. I have a bow and arrow. Can we see our first super rare? Oh, uh, fusion, uh, polymerization. That is polymerization, or that's the, that's the least the original fusion card. Really good and playable card, honestly. I remember playing that card a lot back when I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh and like the older stuff. Ooh, we have fossil. Um, what is it? A skeleton mirror, uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called anymore. I can't remember what half these cards are. But, 
I do like ripping older things and looking at the past. So it's really fun to be able to open stuff like this and actually get a chance to maybe pull a blue eyes. I don't know if we're going to. As usual, I don't know very much about pull ratios. I mean, we have hit one super out of who knows how many packs. Come on. Ah. Classic, classic artwork. Maybe we can see a, um... I don't know if they do the same thing that the America did or the, you know, like, Konami did for us where they censored artwork. So maybe we can find a, a censored artwork. Or not a... Not censored. Oh, we have Beaver Warrior. Come on. How many packs are we in? And did I, for some reason, put them all at the bottom? And that's what it's starting to seem like is happening, is that I put them all at the bottom. But let's see. No. But we are looking for a uh, fusion monster for the, one of the uh, secret rares. If we do manage to pull one, I'd be happy. But so far, we've managed to get one foil card, or hollow, whatever you call it in Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. And it's been a fusion card? Actually, the card you need to fusion summon things together. Anyway. Really? Okay. The only thing I've said about Korean Yu-Gi-Oh! that I don't personally like is the fact that it is impossible to kind of open up these sets without hurting my hand. And we just have another skeleton. Come on, where are our big, like, Ultra Rares? Actually, the Ultra Rares can stay away from now. I would rather actually have a Secret Rare. Come on. I hope this box wasn't, like... I don't think it was resealed, but I have a suspicious feeling that it might have been. But we never will know. Just a metric crap to the rares at this point and one super rare. Come on. Maybe? Maybe just one ultra? I mean, that's what I'm assuming. That's why it could be one ultra per box. Or it could be two. I'm not. Well, well, that's. I forget with it being five cards a pack, you're not really getting a lot. Okay, maybe this is why when I did the whole Korean like packs from newest to oldest that I had when I bought those for YouTube Shorts. There's a reason we have an Exodia. We have a Exodia. We are apparently getting obliterated. Ooh, obliterate! That was cringy, and I didn't even know that was. Well, we hit one of the cards I forgot was in this set. And honestly, a good one to hit. That is a really cool card to hit and I really I do like Exodia Exodia is probably one of my more favorite monsters it's not my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card obviously that is um, Stardust Dragon I'm a very big 5D fan uh, Generation uh, GX was okay wasn't a huge fan of uh, Zexel. Um, five, not five D. Uh, Arc V. Didn't watch enough of that to really even care. And uh, Yu Gi Oh Seven was also nothing I really cared enough to watch. Even wow, we're just not pulling anything. I mean, we're halfway through this box at this point. One super rare, one ultra rare, and one, like, rock golem. Maybe they can hit something good. Because this box is trash so far. And not really doing me good. Come on. Come on. Maybe if I trash. No, even if you trash talk a box, it doesn't even give you anything. What, did I not trash talk you enough, you crappy box at this point? 
Maybe that's how it works. Okay, why do you look like an evil yoga master? No samurai. Come on, give me something. Let me fix this pile of cards right next to me. This is... I'm not even scared yet, because I know we'll hit something. Because I know it has to be more than one ultra. Because I feel like it has to be. I really, really... Is that a super? Nope. At this point, I'm thinking things are super and they're not. I've gone crazy. And I really don't even know why I have. Okay. Come on. We have a bird. How many packs do I have left? Because it feels like I've been doing this forever. And ever and ever. Come on. We have a dinosaur. We have a spell card. We have Monster Reborn. Okay. Not... Ooh, there's a little dent in the top. I wasn't a dent in the top for my, uh... No, no dent. Really? So... Two... Two ultras and... One of them was a... Come on. Honestly, I'm not mad with Monster Reborn and, uh... Exodia, I was hoping for blue eyes. But... Ooh, we have Amazon Warrior. of a sword. Okay. At this point, I gotta take a second and move the cards. Okay. Stack's getting a little too uh, tall, and I don't feel like having it block the light anymore than it probably already does. Oh, we have a trap hole. Finally, another super rare. Those have been hiding. Watch it be like four supers and two ultra rares. And not a chance at a secret rare. Because the next one's going to be... Okay, we have... Is that right, Geki? I think that is right, Geki. I might be wrong about that. But... I do at least remember some of the actual... Like, super rares and stuff. I may have not studied the comments. Oh, that black hole. <laughs> There's all our, like, good hits. I do like these, like, older-looking, like, foily, not focused. Foily cards. Sorry, my brain's not working anymore. Come on. Let's hit a secret rare. Trihorn. Or, or box, give me a blue eyes. There's still a chance. You never know. Oh no, we got another, we got a pot of whatever that does. I actually don't really know how many packs do I have left. Three packs left. See, there should be a rip thing. This is the first time in my life I've said it. There should be a rip thingy. I mean, when there's a rip thingy on them, I don't tend to want to use them, but when there's not, then you need to make them a little easier to open. Come on. That's a weird dragon. The book and two packs left. Honestly, been a very enjoyable box. Only thing I will say is 40 packs is a lot. I mean, the amount of time I've been talking, my throat has gone very dry at this point. I'm very thirsty. And I'm losing a little bit of my voice, so. Not as fun as I would say. Because 40 packs is a lot. I don't even know why it just opened up like this. Come on. Okay. Now that that bullcrap is over. Let's see if we can actually end it off. The last one should be... Nah, it's just a silver fang. Not terrible. But let's go over the super rares we got. So I was correct. Polarization. Black hole. Raigeki and a trap hole. 
That's not bottomless uh, trap pit, is it? I don't really remember. We have a Monster Reborn and a Exodia. So not a bad box, honestly. But that's me. If you do want to see me open up the other sets, like of older Yu-Gi-Oh! Like this, please leave a like. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!